Hi everyone, I'm Evangeline here at eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Saris MHS 3 bike kit and we'll see how it fits on the 2023 Kia Seltos. Right off the bat, I'd have to say that this isn't the best fit for the Seltos with the Seltos being a smaller SUV and this bike rack being a super heavy duty bike rack. Now, this does have the capacity to carry around two 80 pound bikes as well as a 35 pound bike at the very end but your Seltos may or may not be able to carry that much weight so please double check your tongue weight capacity of your hitch before loading up your bikes. It's still worth taking a look at because I like this bike rack kit with how sturdy it is compared to other dual wheel mount bike racks. A lot of engineering is put into place to make sure that your bike has a really good fit on the rack and as little movement as possible. Now there are some things to consider too though, like how when you tilt this rack away, there's a lot of weight coming down. And also because of the length of the rack and the low height of the hitch receiver, depending on your handlebars, you may or may not be able to get full access to our hatch. With our mountain bike here, this is as high as our hatch door goes. We're still able to grab whatever we might need, but I wouldn't rest the full weight of the door against the handlebars, so just be careful with that. Bringing this back up, it snaps into place, and now you are ready to drive. So that's pretty much the main concept of the bike rack on the Seltos. You also have to remember this will take up a lot of length behind your car. 46 inches from our bumper to the end of the rack. Fortunately, with the Seltos being a smaller SUV, it doesn't take up much space anyways, so you will have a better chance inside of your small garages, but still worth taking a measurement to double check. Now, as for how do bikes fit onto the rack? Well, this fits a good variety of bikes. Whether you have your heavy, your two heavy electric bikes, you have your mountain bikes, you have your different style frames. This has zero frame contact. It holds onto the bike by the front and the rear wheels. When you wanna take the bike off, you go over to the rear wheel because you wanna start with the strap. This strap is adding that extra, extra sturdiness to the bike. Once this is off, I like to just toss it over to the side so it doesn't get caught up in the spokes. And then I'm going to do my special trick here where I pull on the mast and that way it makes it so much easier to press that lever. And then we can drop that cradle all the way down to the ground because when you have a heavy electric bike, the last thing you want to do is to lift the bike up. This allows you to roll the bike in whichever direction you prefer. Not the same as using the ramp, but still, you don't have to get a ramp added onto this for the Seltos. This doesn't sit that high up off the ground. We're gonna grab the bike and just put it over here to the side for now so that we can take a closer look at the bike rack. Now for tire width, the maximum width is going to be up to five inches. And if you do have a thinner road bike tire, that's fine too. There's that thin groove for that. The strap will work nonetheless. The strap can also adjust back and forth for different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase being up to 53 inches. And then you can also adjust for different tire sizes with those cradles. I'm just gonna fold this up so it's all nice and neat. And that will make it easier for us to move this rack into the compact position. So you saw us tilt it, you saw me tilt this away. This time I'm gonna press that lever and then lift up towards our vehicle. We have two options here. If you want easier hatch access, there is this angled position. Notice how it, while it does go close, you can actually open up your door all the way, which is awesome. But if you want to take up even less space behind your car, you can go away all the way to the most compact position like this. Remember how we took some measurements with it folded down? We're gonna take measurements again, but this time with it folded up from the bumper 
to the end of the rack. It now sits at 12 inches, or exactly one foot. Big difference compared to when it was folded down. You'll have it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town, not planning on taking your bikes out yet. And because of how hefty this rack is, at about 75 pounds, you also don't want to take your bike rack off. But with it folded up like this, what's the experience going to be like when you drive around town? Well, you'll have full visibility through your rear window. Yes, the handlebar sticks up right where your wiper is, but that's about it. You'll also be able to rely on your side mirrors because it does cover your rear backup camera. The backup camera sits right there at the bottom of the tray. It will sort of cover your license plate as well. If that's a huge issue for you, you may want to drive around with it in the down position. You'll still have a lot of your view covered, but be able to kind of see through the bike rack if any cars or people go by behind you. Again, this fits into the two inch hitch receiver. So double check your tongue weight capacity and make sure you have a two inch hitch on your Seltos. This does lock into the hitch receiver and has an anti-rattle bolt. The, any movement you will have of the rack will be this movement back and forth, which is very minimal compared to a lot of other platform racks. With all that being said, if you wanna carry around extra, extra heavy bikes and you wanna carry around multiple bikes, Again, 80 pounds for the first two and 35 pounds for the third one. And if you use the add-on, another 35 pounds. This is gonna be a very sturdy way to carry it. The downside is that for the Seltos, you do have to be very mindful that your suspension may sag when you have that much weight behind you. And you do have to be careful about hitting the ground because it doesn't sit that high up off the ground. But if you want to use this with your other cars, then this will help you out as well. You can compare the measurements from this video to the measurements of your car and then find out what works best for you. An alternative for you, if you do want to carry around three or four bikes and something much lighter weighted, then check out the Hollywood Racks Destination 4. A very different style of bike rack, but a very good pair with the Seltos. But that's not going to have the same type of premium features that you'll find with the MHS. You saw the three bike MHS kit right here on our 2023 Kia Seltos. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.